Hi there, my name is Lars Sorensen. We're here over at Artelisys and we're talking to keynote speakers, presenters of research work, uh, sharing their thoughts and research results on AI. And when we're talking AI, immediately a lot of people will start thinking in threats. AI is getting stronger and smarter. So how do we control it? How do we align the value of AI with our own human values? I'm going to talk to Ion Dronik. Uh, you're uh, connected to um, the Norwegian startup scene. Cine, yes. uh, you're also connected to research. Uh, I'm a member of um, our entrepreneurship wing of a research lab. So basically we put together entrepreneurs and researchers, see what happens. In my case, a uh, paper happened. Then we have an inter uh, interesting combination also yes. because uh, eventually a lot of entrepreneurs will, uh, will work and develop uh, the things that we've discovered in research yes. and they'll capitalize on it as well. And I think personally this is a place where uh, value, where <laughs> innovation happens. Yeah, it, it happens but it also begins to start to, uh, to, uh, to be a discussion point, right? People, as soon as we th give AI more power, and someone is making money on it. Yeah, it's where we th we start to distrust it. Yes, um, what what I think the future of AI is is a it's a fig fruit. This is a product of a symbiosis between a tree and an, se and an insect. The, the two ones cannot uh, live without an hour. The tree cannot repro uh, reproduce without the insect. The insect cannot eat without the tree. And this is how, how I think uh, uh, the future of uh, artificial intelligence and humankind should be. And when I think about AI, I think of, of a friend. And the way humans aggregate in friendships, they create friendships based on common values, interests, and so on. So the per first problem would be, how do we teach this AI system our values? And what are those in general? So this is the focus of, of my primary research focus at this moment. Yeah. And uh, in your research, wh what have you come about on how do people value it? Because in the, the just the common uh, notion, if I talk to people on the street that are a little bit further away than researchers yes. from AI, uh, a lot of people are anxious. Yes, that is very true. Um, I researched the field and I looked at the state of art and uh, what state of art wants to do is to look at the economy, look at the human preferences and learn what human values. Uh, I have a therapy, I've been in several therapeutic uh, settings, in therapy rooms, and I can tell that people's, what they prefer is not have little to do with what we value. So I believe we should look into therapy rooms and therapy data. That's where people tell their real problems and what really happens in their life. It doesn't happen on Facebook, Instagram or uh, social media. Uh -huh. We need to look in this therapeutic data. Then if you're combining this, this research, uh, this output and how people are starting to look at AI, adapting it in our daily life, uh, how do entrepreneurs react? On, on this? Well, uh, for us it's a lot of opportunity, op a lot of opportunities, because we are a bit, uh, we are on the avant-garde, let's say, but for normal people, of course, it's a lot of fear bec because of a lack of knowledge. So one challenge we face is this lack of knowledge, because people, what they know about AI? Sophie that they've seen on the social media, they've seen a couple of Hollywood movies, and that's, that's it. So our task is to educate people that it can be beneficial for both us and uh, artificial intelligence. And what do you think dominates the tempo in which uh, AI will be more and more involved in our lives? Is this uh, uh, the, uh, the market uh, uh, or, or is it uh, the, the social aspect? Uh, how much we will allow AI to be part of our lives? I think it will be both, symb uh, both acceptance of the society and what r is really important is the hardware, because um, I don't believe an AI system will, ru will run on a zero to one, because that's not how reality works. We have a lot of shades of gray, not just white or black. So I believe it's hardware and the human acceptance of this new technology. But uh, I, can s I don't know if it will happen during this lifetime, but I'm optimistic. Yeah. 
So uh, th the main takeout of your research, obviously we cannot address your entire paper yes, of in just this uh, brief interview, but the main takeout uh, that we you need would to, to share with our We viewers. need to look into therapy rooms data. We need to harvest the data and look at the patterns that might happen there because that's where people uh, describe their reality. Yeah. And to build a safe system, we need uh, a, a precise description of reality. I, I, I but I can imagine that this, uh, um, uh, this is a very uh, critical area because people already have like a privacy uh, issue with AI, with sharing data, yes, and sharing data on such an intimate uh, yes, area. Yes, that might be a problem unless we share the ownership. Mm -hmm. If a person, uh, for example, the way I see it is a person go to a therapeutic room, cancel, and after that he gets the keys to access his own therapeutic data, data, and he can rent it. He can get an economical benefit from he, the data he left in the therapy room, so it's beneficial for him. This is an interesting uh, uh, subject you're, uh, uh, you're pointing out, the ownership of data, yes, AI. Yes, should be shared. Uh, I, I, the main f uh, 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 feed of AI is our data, yes. so uh, we should benefit more? So yes. This is what you're yes, of stating course. as well. Yeah. It's, it's us, it's us. Uh, our digital footprint, we need to own it. Yeah. And it will be, people will accept it if they can benefit. But if there are small players that just benefit from, uh, from it, other people will accept it, it's not just not fair. I want to thank you so much for sharing your, your thoughts and also the example of the fake. Uh -huh. uh, and this is for you. Oh, you thank you so much. <laughs> you are giving away uh, <laughs> gifts today. <laughs> I have some <laughs> gifts to give away as well. Thank you. It's, it's a, a wonderful metaphor of uh, how the insect and the tree work together and how we can work together with AI uh, to enrich and enhance our uh, daily lives. So I wish you good luck with your research. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you very so much, much for, for being me. with us. If you like this content, uh, don't forget we made much more content for you. It's all available on our YouTube channel. If you please subscribe and share it if you like. Uh, also, we would love to meet you during one of our conferences in person. So uh, please be with us for one of our next uh, conferences and we'll meet you there.